Okay. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Intensify Millionaire Institute, and this is our place where millionaire are made. This is the place where we learn about financial freedom. This is a place where we learn how to be successful. So I want to greet all the students of today. I want you to kindly put your video to mute your mic. We are going to have a very, very deep and profound session. So during the next minute, we are going to go through the school of money. We are going to take time to demystify the ways of making money. We are going to see how to make, how to manage, how to keep, how to preserve, and how to multiply your income. So we will not see everything today. We are going to go step by step. So today is going to be the first session on the school of money. So the school of money is going to go throughout December. All the month of December, we are going to see the school of money in depth. So you can apply all those principles for the coming year 2022. So very, very important. So without wasting time, I'm going to go straight to the point and we're going to be talking about the school of money. So all of you who are watching me, I want to say congratulations because I strongly believe that the simple fact that you are there and you are willing to listen and you are willing to learn is a very clear indication that you are serious about your life. Some people right now, they are sleeping. Some are watching TV. Some are watching movies. But you, you are there. You are willing to learn and you are willing to change your life. When I say the word millionaire, what are you thinking about? Some of you are thinking about someone with big amount of money. Some of you are thinking about someone with 100 million or something like that. But I want to help you to understand that there any one of you who can have a million in any unit of currency is a millionaire. And you can be a millionaire in Philippines and you are not a millionaire in the United Kingdom. Well, because um, the notion of millionaire is relative to the operational currency within the zone where he or she operates. One million US dollar, you call it it in Philippines, you are between 45 to 50 million pesos. So you see that it's not the same. It's not the same. See that the impact of your million dollar in Philippines is amazing. It's very big. It's very, very unbelievable. But if you take one million pesos, you go with it in the United States of America, you are not a millionaire. You are going to have like 20,000 US dollar only. You see the difference? So you see that the notion of millionaire depends also on the currency and the country in which you are operating. So I'm going to break this stuff down for you and make it to be very simple and very, very easy to understand. Who is a true millionaire? A true millionaire is someone who never takes money at his goal. So a true millionaire understands that money is just a tool Money is a tool. So a real millionaire is using money to have freedom because for him, peace and joy are more valuable than money. A true millionaire understands the value of every pesos, the value of every dollar. That's why it's rich. And it's using money to get more money. But most poor people, they are using money to buy things. Rich people are using money to get more money. Can you see the difference? So this is the difference between poor people and rich people. When the rich guy has money, he's thinking about, oh, I need to buy maybe a lot. I need to start a business. I need to buy some stock and share. I need to invest maybe in cryptocurrency. I need to go into partnership with someone. Or I need to borrow money to someone and get some interest. When the poor people receive money, he's thinking, I need to buy my new shoes. I need to organize a party. I need to go to treat myself this weekend. I need to travel. I need to buy a new shoe. I need to fix my hair. I, I need to buy a new phone. Or I need to send money to this or that. So it's not thinking about making the money to grow. It's thinking about making the money to come down. That's why time after time is getting poorer and poorer and the rich are getting richer and richer. This is something you need to understand very, very well. I'm trying to speak slowly so you don't miss anything. So a true millionaire 
is using money to get more money. A true millionaire understands the value of time. For a real millionaire, time is money. Time is money. And most people who are rich or who are successful, they always maximize their time. They don't waste time. Everywhere you see them going, they are always acting like they are running after time. This is one of the signs to recognize a rich person. He will come to you and he is conscious of the time. But a poor person will come, he will sit with you. He, he, will, not, he, he will not even speak about important issues. He will start about stories. He will start about his family. Before speaking about what makes him to come to see you, you are already tired and you want him to leave. Rich people, they are conscious about time. They invest their time. They maximize their time and they cultivate themselves, they do something that can increase their value in the marketplace. Are you learning something? Let's continue. So a true millionaire is also a problem solver. That's why he's rich. He's rich because he's trying to find solution for humanity. If people don't have clothes, he's bringing clothes. If people don't have transportation, he will go into transportation business. If people need food, it will go into food business. That's why he's getting money, my friend. He's getting money because he understands the, the value of solving other people's problem. If people are sick, he's coming to provide medication. He opened a business like that and he's making money. And you, you are there. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, I don't know how to make money. Problems around you are opportunities to make money. Now you need to sit and look at your barangay or look at your province where you are living and ask yourself, what kind of problem can I solve in my place? What, what kind of problem can I solve in my place? And if you can solve those problems, most of the money in your barangay will come to you because people are looking for solutions. What problem can you solve in your community? What are the problems in the mountain? What are the needs of the people in the mountain? You go into that type of business, you are going to make a lot of money. You are living in the mountain, you know what people need in the mountain. Don't try to do business for the city in the mountain. Do business for mountain people in the mountain. And you are going to make a lot of money. All the people in the mountain, who need to go to the city to get something, they will just stop to you. Imagine you are living in the place and people need to go to the lagoon to buy clothes or to buy food or sugar. And you are able to bring sugar to them. Who's going to make money in that place? You. Who is going to make money in that place? You are the one who's going to make the most of the money. Because you understand the game and you understand the principle of wealth creation. So instead of complaining about the lack of money or the absence of money, try to be a problem solver. Try to be a problem solver and you are going to see how money will come to you. So millionaires are those who are using what they have to answer to human needs and money is answering to them. They use their talent, their gift, their resources for the good of humanity. A true millionaire understand the power of work, the beauty of hard work, the beauty of having an insane work ethic. They know that without it, nothing can come out. So they enjoy it, they don't endure it. Some people are going to work and you can look at their face and you can see they don't love what they are doing. They wake up as if they force them to go to work. They are sad. They are nervous, they are stressed, they are mad, they go to their business, no smile. It's like somebody is pushing them and forcing them to do what they're supposed to do. And they go into their business with negative vibes. They wake up in the morning and they open their store, they are not even smiling. They are like, oh, I'm so tired of this. I don't love this stuff, you know. They are bringing negative vibes inside their own businesses. So you need to love what you are doing. You need to fall in love with your business. You need to fall in love with everything. 
That is putting food on your table. You need to respect it, love it, and value it. A true millionaire don't waste money. True millionaire invest their money to secure the future. Poor people waste their money. Poor people waste their money. Other people spend money. Millionaire invest money for financial freedom. So the question I want to ask you right now, are you investing your money? Are you spending your money? Or are you wasting your money? You need to find an answer to that. A true millionaire is also a risk taker. That's why it's working in abundance and in oceanic wealth. A true millionaire is serious about his family. That's why he's trying to find solution opportunities. He's trying to search for financial opportunities to change his life because he wants to secure the future of his children and his grandchildren. A true millionaire understands that he's blessed to be a blessing. That's why if you are really a millionaire or if you are really a blessed person, you're supposed to be generous. You're supposed to share a part of what you have with other people. If sharing is a problem with you, you can never be rich. If giving something to someone is too hard for you, you will die poor. Forget about becoming wealthy. Forget about becoming wealthy because one of the characteristics of all people who are making it financially is that they are generous. The more you give, the more you receive. People are speaking it every day. They don't believe it. They don't live by it. They don't practice it. They speak about it. Giving is uh, sharing is caring, but they don't share. They will come and say that uh, it's more blessed to give than to receive. But you are going to see that uh, if you have a giveaway, they are hoping that some of you are going to give the biggest amount and they want to give the rest. And um, sometimes they say, okay, maybe once more we give the rest. Done. And they are surprised that some of us, we are blessed. Sharing is love. When you give, you are blessed. When you give, you receive. Who will bless you? God himself will be the one to reward you. in life happiness is coming back to you this is a divine principle it means if i make clear to be happy today sooner or later that happiness i was able to put in a heart god will send him back to me either to me or my my kids so this is a very powerful law the law of sowing and reaping the law of cause and effect so if i'm doing some causes that makes people happy. I'm going to have effect of happiness in my life. If I'm sowing kindness, love, support, hope to people, I'm going to receive the same. And some people are surprised. Oh, nobody cares about me. Nobody loves me. Who are you showing care? Who are you blessing? Who are you making to smile? Food for thought. So a real millionaire is somebody who understands that principle and is willing to share whatever I receive from God with other people. So if you can't share what you receive from God, you are not rich. You are just a poor person with money. Because one of the signs that you are wealthy is not money first, is your ability to share. When you have that desire to share, you are rich. You are a rich person. Because what you have, you're willing to share. Have you learned something today? If you're learning something, drop a comment. Drop a comment. Drop a comment. If you understand the philosophy behind what we are talking about today, drop a comment. So now we are going to see how to increase your financial intelligence. How to increase your financial intelligence very very important we are going to see what is financial intelligence and how to increase it so i want you to pay very close attention you know money is not thought about in schools and most of us we learn about money from our parents but the question is can a poor parent teach you about financial independence 
Can a poor parent teach you about how to become rich when he's poor himself? Do you think it's possible? Of course it's not. And most people have certificate without financial intelligence. They are graduate without financial intelligence. They have a lot of degrees, but they have no financial intelligence. So you can ask yourself the question, what is financial intelligence? Financial intelligence is the understanding of the inner working of money. Is the understanding of how to make money, how to manage money, and how to multiply money. So when I know how to make money, how to manage money, and how to multiply money, and also how to protect my money, I have financial intelligence. It is also how to develop the investment mentality, the compound interest, and create wealth with little or no money. When you see someone who can make money out of nothing, this guy got some financial intelligence. He can make 10,000 to a million, to a hundred. This is financial intelligence. He can make 5,000 to become 50, 20,000. This is financial intelligence. He's making the money to multiply. He's making the money to grow. And those who don't have it, each time they receive money, money goes back to zero. Each time they save money, money goes back to zero. No matter the amount you give to them, they will find themselves with zero at the end of the day or at the end of the month or at the end of the year. If that is your case, you need to increase your financial intelligence today. You know, when we speak about financial intelligence, knowledge is the secret when it comes to finances. Money comes to those who know what to do with it. If you don't know what to do with your money, money will run away from you. Oh, sir, I, I don't even know what to do with this money. I have a good news for you. If you don't know what to do with your 1,000, your 1,000 will go to someone who knows what to do with it. Example, that girl who have a saloon, you will go there to fix your hair. Example, that restaurant, you will go there to eat. And your money will go to the one who created a system to collect money from other people, financial intelligence. Money comes to those who know what to do with it. Because money was not made to be spent. Only the overflow you're supposed to spend. So you cannot spend the little that you have. You spend the overflow. You spend the more than enough that you have. Are you getting the point? You don't spend everything. You don't spend it all. You say, oh, no, uh, um, sir, I, I, I'm just trying to spoil myself. I, I, I'm just trying to bless myself, sir. I hope you understand. I'm trying to bless myself. I, I'm trying to spoil myself. I, I'm trying to make myself to be happy. Are you, getting, are you getting the point? So it's not all about speaking like that. It's about knowing exactly what you do with your money. Some of you, you are amazing people because some of you, I, I see how you are able to live in a very small budget. Do you know that some of you, when I look at you, you have already great skills for budgeting. Trust me. Some of you, you are living on 7,000 pesos a month. This is already amazing. Some of you, you are living like on 10,000 pesos a month. This is so beautiful. Your budget is so small. Jesus Christ, I envy you. See, when I look at my, my bills only, 26,000 uh, uh, 75 pesos, holy God. <laughs> oh, 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 and food is not inside. So when I listen to you guys, the way you are speaking, sir, I spent 7,000. I, I wish, I said to myself, how to be you? I said to myself, how to be you? How I wish I only spent 7,000. I'm going to risk, my God, if I spend 7,000 like you only, my God, I can enjoy myself so much. Maybe I can travel to Moabua every week. Imagine I still need to travel, but this one is already 26,000. You want to cry. Lord, 26,000 just to stay in the house. Come on, you guys, you are too expensive. So imagine, you guys, you are living on 7,000 a month. You are living on 10,000 a month. My God, 
This is so good. And you have a family. It's not like you're even a single. See, see, as a single guy, see what I'm spending. Jeez. Imagine you, you have a family and you spend like 8,000, 10,000. It means that you can make so much money. Yes. See, it means that you have already the power to live on a small budget. You have a power to live on a low budget already. So no matter the money you can make on top, don't change your lifestyle. You will just take that extra money and you save it. You see how your, your own is good? Your own is so good. If you can stick to your budget, and now wise man is teaching you, now you are making money, you say, ah, sir, I'm blessed now, sir. I'm, I'm so blessed. Thank you, sir. You blessed me. Now you double, 26,000. Nah, 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 nah uh, uh, no. No, now you are doing this other. Stay with your 10,000 budget. All the money you make on top, save it. Don't say no, sir. Say no before. My budget was 10,000. Now I'm blessed. Sir, I need to buy a car that look like me. My God, relax. Open businesses first. Open passive income first. Create multiple flows of income so that even if you buy a car later, you have already businesses that can support your lifestyle. Are you getting the picture? Those businesses you have now can support you in terms of crisis, can help you to travel. This one can help you to spoil yourself. This one can help you to live in expensive place. So be smart. Only the overflow of your money you're supposed to spend. Don't waste everything. So financial intelligence is the understanding on how to make money, how to manage, how to multiply, and also how to protect your money. You can go to university and you don't have it. You can go to university and you don't have it. You, you can't have it just by going to university. No, it is impossible. It is impossible. How you get financial intelligence? Reading books that teach you about money. Listening to tapes, CDs, watching DVDs that explain about money. Attending seminars that speak about finances. Uh, listening to podcasts, audio books that speak about finances. Having good association or watching YouTube that is teaching you about how to make money. Are you getting the point today? Are you, are you getting the point? Because the more you learn, the more you earn. If you want to increase your life, increase your knowledge. You cannot think like a slave and you want to live like a king. It is impossible. If I want to improve my life, I need to improve my thinking. If I want to improve the quality of my life, I need to improve the quality of my mindset. The more I know, the more I understand, the more I can make, I can manage, I can multiply, I can also protect. Are you getting the point? So what we are sharing today is beautiful, trust me. So the more you learn, the more you'll be able to earn. Leaders are readers. When you stop reading, you stop leading. If you want to be, a leader tomorrow, maybe you have to be the leader of your family in terms of finances, you need to keep on learning. If you stop learning, you stop leading. When you're inside your car or your tricycle or whatever you are using, put something, watch one of the playlists of wise man speaking about money. Maybe you are cooking, you have nothing to do. Don't wait for a special time. You know, I'm waiting for my special time wise man to, to listen to you. No, there is no special time. There is no special time, my friend. As you are cooking, time management, you are cooking for your husband and you put a, a playlist speaking about finances. You are listening to wise man playlist and you are cooking. So simple. Don't make it difficult. Make it simple. The most important is your ears. Your ears are supposed to listen. No, sir, I'm waiting for a special time to listen to your video. There is no special time on earth. You are going to feel tired. You are going to feel hungry. You can have visitors. You, your husband needs you. Your kids needs you. No. The best time for you to listen to our playlist while you are cooking, while you are, while you are washing clothes, you put your phone there and you listen. 
Are you getting the point? So try to find, maybe you are going somewhere and you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are inside traffic. You put and you listen, you don't feel it. Maybe you are going to Oslo. Okay, you say, okay, maybe I travel for 30 minutes. You listen to a video. You are learning. You are learning. You are making your mind to be sharp. You are making your mind to be powerful. You are learning how to redeem time. For example, when I travel to Mindanao, I take a ship from, from Cebu to Kagan, the Oro Trans Asia. And all that night, I'm listening to products, a, a product, podcast messages about financial success. Now, Kagayan the Oro to Davao, I call my driver in Davao. He will come and pick me in Kagayan the Oro, five hour trip. So during the five hour, I don't sleep. I don't listen to music. I'm listening to books, audio books, like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich, Maximum Achievement, stuff like that, F you money. So I listen to product, podcasts, videos that can teach me how to make more money, how to be successful and how to be productive. So my five hours are not wasted. I invested it into knowledge. This is the secret I'm sharing with you. And I want you to copy that secret if you want to maximize time. Oh, sir, I'm looking for a special time to listen to your videos. I'm sad to disappoint you. You will never have a special time. You need to cook. You need to take care of your kids. Take care of yourself. Take care of your problems. Clean the house. Wash clothes. Go to the market. You don't have special time. You need to rest. So the best time is just put your headset, put the playlist, enjoy yourself. You are washing clothes, you listen. You are cooking, you listen. The more you listen, it's going deep down inside your subconscious mind. You will just find yourself doing what you're supposed to do because the more you listen, the more you become. Maybe you are in your Sari Sari store, you are, you are managing customers, you put that. You can put a, a, a Bluetooth speaker so you don't need to work with your phone. As you are there, you hear the voice everywhere. You just enjoy yourself. You enjoy yourself. So this is what you can do, for example, practically to increase your financial intelligence. Money is going to come to you because you know the loss of money. Money will not come to you because you're a Christian. Money will not come to you because you're a nice person. Oh my God. You are such a nice person. You deserve to have money. No, money don't come to you because you are nice. Money goes to people who knows the laws and the principles, how to manage, how to make, and how to multiply. Knowledge is power. So without information, you are bound to suffer. Without information, you are bound to suffer. Seek to know what other people know. If you know what successful people know, you are going to be successful. I promise you. If you know what I know, you will have what I have. If you know what I know, you will have what I have. If you do what I do, you will get the same result. That's why Aristotle said that the, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruits are sweet. So when, you, when it comes to knowledge, sometimes it's so difficult to learn. It's difficult, it's challenging. Oh, I'm so tired, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I want to sleep, oh, I want to read. The, the roots are bitter, but the fruits are sweet. Nobody succeeds by chains. Nobody succeeds by ignorance. Every financial success you are going to see is the product of information obtained and applied. So if you develop the habit of getting better at what you do, this is the proof that you are serious about your future. Invest 30 minutes at least or one hour a day reading in your field, listening to audio program in your car or walking around cooking or watching Wiseman TV playlist about finances. Your life will change. Your life will change. Your brain will change and your thought pattern will be much better. Are you still there? If you're learning something, drop a comment. I want to know if uh, 
what we are sharing is reaching you. I want to know if you are getting it very well. Drop a comment. Let me know if you get it. Let me know. Let me know if you get it. Let me know. Let me know if you get it. Let me know if you get it. Are you still there? I love it. I love it. Guys, we are having a, a beautiful time. And I hope that uh, you are going to get even more. So the last part we are going to see today for the School of Money is why people don't become rich. Why people don't become rich. Why people don't become rich. That is the last part we are going to see today. Are you ready for this? Why people don't become rich? That is the last part we are going to see today. I'm excited to see that uh, you guys, you are enjoying the session very, very much. That is a question I began to ask myself. Why is that people don't become wealthy with all the opportunities around, with all the blessings around? Why many people don't become wealthy? What is making them not to see result? I realized that the first reason is that uh, it never occurs to them the possibility of becoming rich. For them, becoming rich is for some people, not for everyone. They look at themselves and they say, how come a guy like me can be rich? How come a woman like me can be rich? It is impossible. I'm from a poor family. My dad is poor, my mom is poor, my whole family is poor. I can't be rich. I can't believe I can be rich. This is my destiny. God created me to be poor. So with that type of mindset, how are you going to break the yoke of poverty? It is impossible because you believe that your poverty is normal. You believe that your poverty is divine. Some of them think, who am I? Who am I to think that I can be rich? Who am I? I'm just a poor girl. I'm just a simple girl. I'm nothing. I'm not beautiful. I have no rich person in my family. Nobody is there to help me, so I can never be rich. Who am I? The reason number three is that people are not taught about making money. One of the reasons some of, some of you don't have money is that nobody was there to teach you. Right now, I'm teaching you. Now you are going to have results. You can type a thank you somewhere. You can type thank you. Some, some people are poor because nobody was there to teach them. They have no mentor, they have no coach, they have nobody to give them advice. So they just try anyhow. When they want to start a business, they go and ask to Pierre. And Pierre, do you know about Sari Sari store? Pierre have no Sari Sari store. So what kind of advice can you get from someone who is not doing it? What you get is confusion. So some people are poor because nobody taught them about making money. Number four, is wrong programming from birth. Wrong programming from birth. You know, the Bible said, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. This is a very powerful statement. So the way they program you from birth can pursue you for the rest of your life. We can call it subconscious programming. Most of us, the raw concept that is holding us back about money are coming from our parents, our teachers, our neighbors, our friends. We, we, we are coming from families where people think that their poverty is good and to be rich is to be bad. That rich people are bad, poor people are nice. That you, can, you have money, you are not happy. That if you are poor, you are happy. That if you are poor, you go to heaven. If you're rich, you go to hell. So when you have that type of wrong mindset, how can you be successful? 
So you need to remove that wrong programming and put a new mindset in order for you to be successful. I don't know if I'm talking to the right people this morning. If I'm speaking to the right people, drop a comment. Let me know that I'm talking to you. Let me know that I'm talking to you. Why people don't become wealthy? Why? Some people really never decide to become wealthy. They never made that decision that I'm going to be rich. Never. They just work like that. They have no goals, no plans about becoming wealthy. If you ask them how much you want to make, how much you want to save, they don't know. What is your, your, your financial goal for 2022? They don't know. 23, they don't know. Where you want to be financially five years from now, six years from now? <laughs> I don't know. Only God knows. So they are not prepared about life. You know, they are living a life according to what I call the law of accident. The law of accident. Imagine somebody you're already 30 years of age and you can't afford to do some stuff. This is a proof that uh, you were not that serious with your life. 30 years of age, you can't afford to take care of yourself. 30 years of age, you depend on, you depend on your parents. This is the proof that you are not serious with your life. I will learn something tonight, today. I will learn something. So people are poor also because they never made that decision. Some are poor because of maybe tomorrow syndrome. Maybe tomorrow syndrome. They always postpone next year, next month, what they're supposed to do today. When are you going to save money? Soon. When you come to Weissman class tomorrow, after late next class, they, they never do what they're supposed to do. And because they keep on procrastinating, they are killing their own future and their own destiny. Why people are poor, they spend more than what they earn. They spend more than what they earn. They are making 5,000, they are living a 6,000 pesos life. They are making 10,000, they are living a 20,000 pesos life. They spend more than what they earn. They are making 10,000, they have a 10,000 pesos phone, 15,000 pesos phone. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how people are hurting themselves? Can you imagine how people are hurting themselves because they want to impress, they want to fit with the society. They want to look good, they want to look nice. They want to impress friends, they want to impress family and relatives. And they put themselves under bondages. They put themselves in trouble. They hurt themselves. When they can avoid it just by living below their means. If they are making 10,000, they try to live a 8,000 life or 7,000 or 9,000, and they can save 1,000, two or 3,000 or more. And if they can repeat the process over the time, they will have enough capital to start a small business. Why people don't become rich? They don't know the benefits of savings. They don't know the benefits of savings. They are losing opportunity because they have no savings. Things will come, deals for them to make money will come. They have no saving to grab it. Somebody want to sell his house because he's sick. You can't buy it because you have no savings. Why people don't become wealthy? Lack of goals and focus. They lack goals. They have no financial goals. They don't know what they want to do with their lives. They don't know how much they want to make a day, a week. They don't know how much they need to save daily. How much you need to make daily or weekly or monthly? They are living a life without direction. My brother and sister, welcome to the school of money. So if you want to break the yoke of poverty in your life, learn to set goals and be focused. Focus on your goal. Don't focus on people. Don't focus on comment. Don't focus on people trying to distract you. Focus on your own goal. Focus on your own goal. Don't allow people to distract you. Make, make your mind, make your mind, made up your mind, you made your mind, I'm going to be great. And nobody can make me not to be great. I'm going to be great. If I need to do that alone to be great, I'm going to do that. Why people don't become wealthy? Debt. 
Some people put themselves under serious bondages of debt. Debt for phone, debt for food, debt for this, debt for that. Some people are doing what I call bad debt. There are two types of debt, good one and bad one. If you take a debt to start a business, that's good debt. If you take a debt to buy clothes, to do party, to do wedding, to do happy birthday to you, bad debt. Some of you are taking money to give birth, taking money to buy clothes, taking money to do birthday, taking money to do a, 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 a wedding, taking money for burial, taking money for stuff that will not even help you. These are bad debts. But if you take money, for example, to invest into real estate, this is a good debt because after paying your debt, you will still have the house that will give you rent forever. I will learn something. So learn the difference between good debt and bad debt. So if you keep on taking bad debt to buy a car, debt to furnish your house, debt to change your TV, buy now, pay later, debt because you want a ref, you want a new phone, you want a new bed, you keep on taking debt, 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 credit, 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 credit. This is why people end up in poverty. No, I want my house to look good, you know. I want my house to look good. You go and take it there for a big TV, bed, bed for a big sofa. My friend, keep going. Keep going. That's why you are not wealthy. Because of too much debt you are putting on yourself. Why people don't become wealthy? Wrong advice. They listen to wrong people. We need to listen to those who have succeeded already. People who have specialized professional insight into what you are going to do. You don't go and listen to everyone. You don't listen to your best friend. Your best friend is not a coach. Your, your best friend is not a financial consultant. <laughs> your best friend is not a businessman. For him to advise you about business, you say, best, how to start the e-loading business? And your best friend cannot say, I don't know. She needs to say something. I think uh, you need to have 2,000 to start. She says she think. So you don't need to listen to everybody. Go and ask to the people who are doing great already. People who have results, people who have success, people who are doing great already in the field. They are the one that you're supposed to listen. You don't listen to everyone. You listen to people who are doing great already. People who have proofs. People who have results. People who have what you are looking for. You come and you ask them, please, my brother, my sister, how to be you. How to manage business like you. How to make my store to grow. How to have more income. This is the secret to grow. Why people don't become wealthy? Lack of personal discipline. If you cannot control yourself, you can't be rich. No discipline for lottery, no discipline for spending, no discipline for shopping, no discipline for eating, no discipline for party, no discipline for sex, no discipline for many girlfriends. If you have many girlfriends, you can never be rich. If you have many girlfriends, you can never be rich. Many girlfriends will make you to be poor because girlfriends are expensive. Many girlfriends will make you to be poor because you are, you are left, right, you are sharing money left and right. It's a budget. You, it's a budget. If you stick to one person, you will not spend too much. Even if she's taking maximum 5,000, at least this is a 5,000 pesos budget. But if you go to many girlfriends, you are going to spend this one, spend this one, spend this one, spend this one. This is already a big capital. In one year, you can start a business just by taking back the money you are wasting on girls. This is a serious advice. So discipline yourself. If you don't discipline yourself, you can never be rich. If you don't discipline yourself, you can never be rich. Some of you don't have discipline for food. You love food so much. You are always thinking about food and you are always posting about food on your social media. And you are craving. You are craving about going and getting that food. You are craving. You are craving, I need that food. Oh, that is my dream. I want to eat it. 
Oh my God, how I miss it. How I miss it. How I miss it. I need to go to Ocean Bay to eat. Oh my God, food is life. Oh my God. And you are you have your own house. Instead of you to go and cook, you don't want to cook. You go and eat outside. 1,500. You are wasting money. So discipline your appetite for food, your appetite for gadget, your appetite for shopping, shopping, Lazada, your appetite for online seller. Any online seller you see on Facebook you want to buy, relax. You don't need everything. You don't need everything you see on social media. Take it easy. So you need personal discipline. People are poor because they lack personal discipline. People are poor because uh, they don't investigate on financial opportunities. Lack of studies, lack of research, and lack of investigation on financial opportunity. They don't take time to search what is working, what is good, what is trending, for them to swim with the waves and make money. They don't want. They want things to happen just like that. They don't want to pay the price. They just want to sit and ask questions to people instead of them to go and search for themselves. They don't want. They are looking for easy money. There is no easy money on earth. Even to be a prostitute is not easy. You need to have some strength and some skills for you to be a prostitute. If not, you are going to be a useless prostitute. So there is no easy money. People say, oh, prostitute, easy money. There is no easy money on earth. Even to be a prostitute, you need to work hard. It's not easy to be. A, it's not even easy to have sex. And with many men, it's not easy. There is no easy money anywhere. Even to be a yaya, it's not easy. A driver, it's not easy. It's not even easy to be a man or to be a woman. There is nothing easy on earth. So all the people who are looking for easy way, easy success, it doesn't exist. Why people don't become rich? Lack of integrity. Lack of integrity. People don't become rich because they lack integrity. And they are losing great men who are supposed to have them. If there is a quality that rich people like to see in, in, in others is integrity and loyalty. So when you prove to the people that we can't trust you, you are going to lose a lot. When you prove to someone who can help you that they, he, he can't trust you, you are just breaking the opportunity to make it in life. You are breaking the opportunity to make it in life. Some people, integrity they don't have. They always change their mouth. Tomorrow, I'm going to do this. After, no. Uh, I want, I don't want. They are confused people. When you don't have integrity in what you say, you are going to lose a lot of stuff, a lot of people, and a lot of opportunity. Let your yes be yes, and let your no be no. I will learn something. Why people don't become wealthy? Inability to delay gratification. Inability to delay gratification is making a lot of people to remain poor. You need to develop discipline in spending. What you eat, what you wear, the kind of pleasure you indulge in. Don't frustrate your future by leaving your tomorrow today after you retire poor. No. Learn to delay gratification. There is a time for everything. Maybe right now you want to buy a car, but you don't need it now. You need more businesses now. So focus on building some passive income. By the time you have a lot of businesses, you can use the profit from those business to start to buy a car or to spoil yourself or to travel to Palawan anywhere you want to go. You deserve it. That time you deserve it. Now you enjoy yourself. You enjoy yourself and it is safe. You enjoy yourself and you secure already your life. It is just simple math you're supposed to follow. Simple math. And you can do that. So the last point, the last uh, reason why people don't become wealthy is laziness. Lazy people always have excuses for everything. Lazy people blame others for their state. They blame others for their condition. They blame others for their situation. It is your fault. It's because, it's because I can't do that because, I can't do that because, I don't have it because, it's because, it's because the government, my friend, my family, my uncle, my boyfriend, my sister, my, my nephew, my dog, Satan, God, my pastor. Lazy people love to sleep too much. 
They sleep as if they are pregnant. They waste too much time on unprofitable things. Lazy people love to watch TV too much. They love party too much. They love sex too much. They are stingy. Laziness is making people to be poor. Laziness is a major cause of poverty. This is a major cause of poverty. People need to train themselves to move out of laziness. I'm so tired today. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I feel so tired, you know. I can't go to work today. I can't go to, I can't, I can't. I need to sleep. I need to rest. I need a nap. You are not pregnant. You are not working. Then you are always tired. You have low energy. That's why many people are poor. They are not active. They are not busy doing something to change their lives. They want things to come easily. They don't want to face any obstacles. The lazy people, trust me, they love easy things. They love things to come easily. They like people to give them stuff easily, but they themselves, they are very stingy. Most lazy people are very stingy. They don't, they, they don't like to share. Very stingy, very selfish. They just want things to come like that. They want stuff to come easily. Sometimes you can call a lazy person, come and get your food. Mom, can you bring it here? My friend, stand up and pick your food. They are so lazy that even to go and do what is good for them, they don't have energy. Unbelievable. Have you ever met lazy people? They will sit like this and they will go to the bathroom and they will ask you for a towel. Please, can you give me a towel? My friend, come out and pick your towel. Lazy people will sit like this. This is a ref there. They can't stand even to take water for themselves. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Like, go and get the water. Please, can you, can you take water for me? My friends, my friends, just relax. Just relax. What is making you to think that uh, you're supposed to do some stuff? What is making you to, to feel like people are supposed to be there to serve you, to entertain you, to do your wish and all your will? If you don't want to help yourself, nobody will help you. Stop thinking that people will be doing something for you for free. No, there is nothing free on earth. Lazy people, you will see them, they will go on Facebook, they are looking for Ponzi schemes. Put one pesos and make 10 pesos. Put 10 pesos and make 100 pesos. And they say that, sir, I have a business, my business. I saw it on Facebook, what to do? If you put 1,000, you are going to make 20,000. Put first. If you win, yeah, come, I will put also. No, sir, I'm telling you, this is a good opportunity. I saw many comments. Those comments you see down, these are the same people of the same group. They are all guilty people. You open it, you post, you call a uh, Legaspi, you call a... Uh, Maria, you say, okay, you know what? I'm going to make a post now. Comment that you receive your payout. Gamboa will comment. Oh my God, I can't believe that I got my payout. Maria, wow, legit 100%. Legaspi, oh my God, this is true. Now, Pial is looking from outside. Grabe, many payouts here. They will say, okay, Pia, you sent through Palawan. <laughs> well, Pia sent the blocker. <laughs> Pia, she sent the block. She will come and post on, on social media. Beware, beware, it's camera. No, it's too late. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, you are funny, you know. You post, you post, beware. You, you, uh, yeah. Beware, beware. Beware. <laughs> what beware? See, SEC is warning you all the time. You don't listen. Company who are not set register, you don't care. You just, because you are looking for easy money. See, you need to admit that you are looking for easy money. Yeah, you need to admit it. Now you say, I can't believe it. Oh my God, I'm finished, I'm finished, I'm finished. Now you say, hush. I'm going to destroy that person. You take the picture, you post. You think the person care? 
You see, you think that a scammer care about his image? See, before starting that job, he was willing to be insulted. <laughs> ah, no. Uh, I remember uh, in, when I was in Manila, there is a guy who contacted me. He said that if I give him a uh, 300,000, he's going to give me a uh, 900,000. Grab 900,000 for 300. Hmm. Now, if I give him 5 million pesos, he's going to give me first an SUV and he's going to turn my 5 million into 15 million pesos. You know what happened? This guy started that business. He paid people every 90 days, you get three times your money minus 10%. Me, I know how that type of business operate. Sometimes they will pay the first group, second batch, you will go to hell. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Sometimes they will pay only the first one, you know? Um, sometimes they will not even pay the first one. So I look at this guy and I felt that like this young man want to make money. I'm going to put on the first one. Second one, I don't put. So I gave him 300,000. And he turned it into 900. So he gave me like 800 something. So I told you that then, after that, I will put now the 800. Me, put again. No. So when I collected my 800,000, he called me again. I said, nah, nah. I don't do it again. To cut the story stop, that guy left Philippines with one billion, one billion pesos. People went to two for crying. <gasps> two for two, then I told you. I told you, you guys, you don't listen. Yes, they told you. See, don't invest what you can't afford to lose. Why you go and borrow money to invest in Ponzi schemes? People's money. This is so risky. Because you are looking for easy money. Lazy people are looking for easy money. Now you cry. Oh my God, I'm finished. Oh, what am I going to do? And your husband is not that way. He took his money to go and play. <laughs> and baby, our money is there. I need it next week. Oh my God, I destroyed my marriage. I destroyed my wife. Oh, so why is my message me? I block you. I block you. Yeah. Now you call me, wise man, please. Wise man, you're the only person who can help me. Wise man, I'm calling on your kindness. That's why they want, they want to manipulate me. They start sending me useless message. Wise man, I'm calling on your kindness. I'm calling on your agenda. Don't call on my kindness. You need to call Jesus right now because your situation right now, you need the Lord Jesus to help you. I'm telling you because your husband is, is putting you out. <laughs> your husband is putting you out already. You go and put his savings into Ponzi scheme, he lose hundreds of thousands. Ah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine your husband. He will shout. Maybe we maybe we scream first. Maybe we get sick first. Before handling your situation, he will first shout. Maybe he cry. Maybe we get sick first after we say some personal words to you. Maybe you are going to pack your thing to leave. <laughs> because you don't come to our Zoom. You don't listen to advice. You say, no, I so many comment. Friend, those people who are commenting, they are all in the same group chat. It's like I have a group chat in Mantalobon and I want to scam people. I post and I say, okay, PR. Tell all your group chat to say that they receive payout. They come and comment. Sana all, sana all. Oh my God, such a great business. Genuine business. People see 50 comment. My God, this one is genuine. And you tell them, um, you give me 1,000 pesos. After 10 days, it's 2,000 pesos. So you have 10 days to collect the maximum of them. Maybe 1,000 will come and give you, make 1 million. You collect it, you go and do your swap test. You travel, you go abroad. 10 days after, they say, hey, sir, uh, uh, what, what am I paying? The person you are trying to reach is out of the coverage area. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, you're in trouble. You, your husband, don't ask your husband. I just imagine your husband, oh my God. Your husband wanted to buy a lot. You say, no, baby, don't buy. The money we are going to make, baby, you will never suffer again. Are you sure? Yes, baby. Give me that one million. 
Don't buy it. Give me and multiply it. Baby, we are rich. Are you sure, baby? Many people commented there. People are I'm telling you, you want to see the comment from PayPal? You screenshot. You send to your husband. Your husband is an innocent person. He said, wow, many people receive PayPal. All is fake. You put your money, no payout. Your husband have a stroke because of you. He's walking now like this. <laughs> oh no! Ah, ah no! I love. Oh, so we may not. You, you just kill your husband. He has stroke. He start walking like this until again. What happened to you, my wife? <laughs> she killed me. I agree with you, brother. She killed you for real. You suffer to save that money. She just gave all your life saving to Ponzi scheme. So I hope you learn. That's the first session of today. Each class will be one hour, and we are exactly one hour. So I'm going to see you again next time for the part two of the School of Money. So have a beautiful day. God bless you all.